your inverter is now ready for simulation. To do that, I'm going to build a test bin schematic, which is a place where I can give the inputs and the signals that drive the inverter. For that, I'm going to go to the library manager window and create a new cell view named test bench with a schematic view. And it's going to be blank when it opens. And now I'm going to instance the inverter that we've just created from our project one library and place it in the schematic. As you can see, we are now using the symbol view of the inverter schematic. The next thing I would want to do is give the supply voltage from instance. First, I'm going to give ground from the analog library. and place it onto the screen. The next thing would, would be giving the supply voltage VDD. Now, since VDD is a constant DC voltage, I'm going to do that using a voltage generator VDC, which is a constant DC voltage generator. Once you choose this from the analog library, it's going to give you a set of options that you can vary according to the need. Now, since the VDD voltage for the 45 nanometer process node is one volt, I'm going to give a DC voltage of one in the properties. And place it right on the schematic editor. Then the next thing would be giving the input. So I'm going to give the input excitation using a pulse signal with a predefined period. And for that, I'm going to use the voltage generator three points from the same analog library. And if you click on the window, it's going to refresh the properties. And here I can give the voltages as zero and one volt, which are the logic low and logic high for this particular process mode. The next thing I would give is a period. Choose an appropriate period time for your simulation for the input signal that you're giving. So I'm going to choose 10 nanoseconds for the period. And I'm not going to give it any delay time. I'm going to give it zero. And the rise and fall time, I'm going to give 10 picoseconds seconds to make our input signal more practical than ideal. the same for the fault time and pulse width is the place where you set the duty cycle for the input signal that you give since i've chosen my period to be 10 nanoseconds i'm going to give the pulse width as 5 nanoseconds to make the duty cycle 50 percent now that i've edited the properties to my need i'm going to hide this and place the voltage generator on the schematic Now that the voltages are done, I'm going to now give a pin for the output. That is where the output is going to be measured. I'm going to name it out and the direction is output, signal type as signal and place it in the test pin schematic. Once you have made sure that all the instances that you need are on the screen, you can start making the connection. The VDC goes the VDD terminal of the inverter. The V pulse goes to the input terminal of the inverter. Both the negative terminals of the voltage sources are connected and given to ground. And the output terminal of the inverter is given to the output pin from which we are going to measure our output signal. So now that this is done, 
can move things around to make it more compact. And now that this is done, I'm going to give a line name to my input wire. And I'm going to name it in. By pressing the keyboard shortcut L, you can get the name window, the line name window. And you can place it right on top of the wire. Make sure that it is exactly placed on top of the wire and not anywhere other than that. So now that this is done, I can try checking and saving it the way I've done before. And as we can see, there are no errors in our test bench schematic. Now this means that we have finished building test bench and it is now ready for simulation. To open the simulator, I'm going to press on the launch button on the top left corner of the schematic editor window and press the ADEL analog design environment option. And it is going to give me the ADEL window. Now, before you start building the simulation profile, make sure that in setup, you are indeed using the 945 nanometer process from the model libraries option. And as you can see, the model file being referenced here is the GPDK 45 nanometer one. So this is good to go. And the next thing you would want to do is make sure that the simulator that you're using is Spectre. And as you can see, it is indeed Spectre. So I press OK. And now I proceed to build the simulation profile. Now to check the simulation and the working of an inverter, I will need a transient analysis, which basically means that I simulate the inverter with respect to time. I see the performance of the inverter with respect to time. So for that, I'm going to press analysis and choose, which gives me the choosing analysis window in which I'm going to choose the transient analysis option from this list of options. And if you recall, the period that we have chosen for an inverter while designing the test bench is 10 nanoseconds. So to have three cycles of the input or four cycles of the input, I will need 30 or 40 nanoseconds as the stop time in the display window that, that we are going to see in a few minutes. So I'm going to choose four cycles. That is four times the period. That is 40 nanoseconds and press OK. And the transient analysis has been added in the analysis list on the ADEL window. The next thing I would do is choose the outputs that I want to be plotted. For that, I go to outputs to be plotted and select on schematic. Once you do this, you can minimize the ADEL window and choose the wires that you want the signals to be plotted off. So the first one I need is the input that is this wire right here. And the second one is the output that is near the output pin. And to, to ensure that you have indeed clicked on the proper wires, you can see the color of them. And as you can see, these have turned green and pink. That means I have chosen the proper signals. Once I've clicked them, I can press escape and go back to my ADEL window to see that in the output column, in and out have been chosen. So now that your analysis and the outputs to be plotted are chosen, you can start simulating by pressing the green arrow on the right side of the ADEL window. And this says that 
my sector simulation has been completed with zero errors. And once that is done, it's going to give you the display window. That is the virtual visualization and analysis window. Now all of my signals are plotted in the same window and I'm going to strip them into separate plots by clicking on this particular option. And it's going to give me two separate waveforms in the window. And as we have set up in the simulation profile, the stop time is 40 seconds. And there are four input cycles in the 40 second stop time. This is the input signal that goes high and low. And the output signal is observed to be the exact inverted version of the input. That means that our inverter is working. Now to check the voltage values of the simulation that you've just done, you can use marker, press OK, and it's going to create a marker. You can move this around to see the time or the voltage at any particular instant. Now you can use this to measure stop time or delay or propagation times in your further simulations. We've now successfully created an inverter test bench and simulated it to check the working of the inverter. Follow the same course of process procedure to build a three input NAN or NOR gate for a better understanding for future references and projects. Play around in the cadence environment to familiarize yourself with the tool. And that concludes this video.